our third location with the oh my god SEMA truck Bluetooth drive shaft what in the princess pavement road is going on here that thing is so tall oh my god and I know my window is dirty I cleaned the body of the vehicle today but I did not clean the glass that's gonna be for the next day so third spot being at in and out burgers rip to everybody inside because they're gonna be so busy right now PD's already on site they pull out so quick and they got the fire department out here I guess they really brought the heat out, haha, <laughs> no pun intended. I wonder what exactly happened. What okay, well that's a bit chaotic. Got the hat off this time. Uh, it's a little hot. Oh my goodness. That's one way to see all the cheese muscle. But um, basically we're here, in and out City of Orange. Don't think anybody got actually hit. I think that the cops are just kind of looking at the tags. You know, people love to run cops. And even in the city of Orange, Anaheim, Tustin, all those cities, they're very hot. All right, so panic from the future. Honestly, guys, it's been a mix up of a day there. And the cops were there because basically the bikes were in an accident. I'm going to save you guys the time, the headache of listening to me babble, trying to figure out exactly what was going on. Two bikes collided into each other and the whole entire team of emergency cars showed up basically what happened so back to the next crazy incident and I'm gonna chime in later on just to clean it up so you guys are not hearing me babbling about different scenarios of what was going on let's just say it was one epic day so you guys think I'm looking at a charger nah dude this is the Chrysler from part two what looks like a factory OE placement that's so crazy Put the flash on this real quick hold on yeah the cooling bottle sits up there nice and neat everything is just there i'm pretty sure it's just a straight engine swap cooling everything will stay there so the engine looks tucked in it's not too bad whoa that's pretty dope so it's got a coolant for the supercharger and coolant for the block itself that's dope man straight swapped in and out carbon fiber intake on there too not too bad not too bad and brother even went for the whole entire interior wow so this is what happens when you lose your Hellcat guys it becomes a Chrysler huh that's pretty sick though something you don't really see a whole entire interior exterior swap it's even got the big Brembo's on there dude that's so crazy this basically is a Chrysler body like clothes but with charger guts and everything wow smell of in and out is very delicious smelling but I have to refuse to eat burgers nice BMW it's pretty clean I don't know uh, there's alright so before we talk to the dude at the BMW or if anything head about this way I want to figure out what happened with the guys in the motorcycles. So, the real question is, is there even a story behind these two bikes that are here? So as far as I can see, I'm not seeing any like broken plastics on the street or anything crazy like that. There is a water bottle here. Not too sure. There was an Insta360 on one of them. The two helmets are there. Two pairs of gloves, two bikes just left on the ground. It might just be somebody too that's going to get in and out and just left their stuff here real quick. Cause like I said earlier, they run, but. All right, so what I'm about to play next guys, you know, I'm not trying to like put it all out there. I know YouTubers are very like seeing me, like they go after a lot of activity, right? They go after all the crime, but me, this poor kid really got rattled up. I mean, the Lexus got utterly destroyed. You are going to see a snippet of the accident. I am going to zoom in and kind of slow it down for you guys as well. After that, I'm going to get up to the accident and kind of just fast forward the video from there. My commentary and basically in a nutshell, it's going to be kind of hard to see, but there was a Charger and a Camaro that was racing. And there was a Lexus making a left turn, right? So the Charger hit the Lexus and spun it out onto the curb. And then as soon as the Lexus was falling off of the curb, that's when the Camaro on the farther right lane couldn't slow down fast enough and got collided into. The Charger took off and the Camaro has been planted with all the 
accident information, which sucks because it wasn't even the Camaro's fault. If anything, he trying to slow down, but obviously being in a illegal street race, which is why they say be careful when going to car meets. Um, essentially, that's what happened is this Camaro got planted with everything. So tune back in and uh, speed up all the other video processing. So it's a shorter clip and easier to actually watch and enjoy. That just happened. Woo -hoo -hoo. That is not good. Everybody is running towards this direction. Literally, the cops are across the street. That's why you gotta be patient. Dude. Uh oh, at least he stopped. At least he stopped. Jesus. Yeah, y'all remember that car from part two? I'll roll the footage right now. I love the light of bow tie on here. Sick with it. Slow down. PD right on site too. Well, that just happened. All bad situation. Emotionally hurt. So he was pulling into the lot and then got hit. I thought he was pulling out. Damn, dude, that quarter is gone. Everything is messed up. Oh, jeez. That's all bad. Yo, honestly, I feel bad for recording, guys. But, you know, content out there. But, Jesus Christ. Smacked the whole right quarter. No airbags went off. So, technically, it's not total. But, Jesus. So, he was making a left. Charger, Camaro are racing each other and then BAM! Smacked him, done a full spin on the curb. Bounced up on there and everything. Woo! I mean, he says it's his dream car, but he got hit by a, a Camaro. That's money right there. So, part one, we had a Charger swing and almost hit a 350Z. I mentioned in part two. Part two, we ran into Dave, Dave and Damon DDE. Uh, well, I ran into the people driving the Gallardo, so I was able to talk to them. And then part three, we got all this crazy stuff happening right over there. And Chris was here. Luckily, I mean, I, and I'm just not lucky, but everybody was here on the corner, and it was just like, bro, like I was busy checking out the the bikes, and then all of a sudden, oof, that happened. So now that everybody's over here, maybe we can go get some clean photos. Of the cars. Now it's not to blame for origins and their events and meets and everything, guys. But I feel like every time that you come out to an origins event, it's because of how big they are, because of their background, how they like become, and even the car scene in general, the way how it's become is just about racing, racing, racing. Everybody wants to race each other, go faster, and you know it's not about park and show anymore. It's not about crews. It's all about racing at the end of the day. And that's one of the biggest things about nighttime car meets. For example, um, you had DDE actually, that one of their Senna's got completely destroyed. It was the Senna GTR. And that one got completely destroyed at an Origins event. And that's why they stopped coming out for a little bit, but now they made their way back to Origins. Now it's nothing to blame, like I said, on Origins. I don't support them because of what happened with Chris back in the day. But it's old grudges, it's 2024. I'm not one to hold grudges against people. However though, like I say, it's always a fast boy. There's always somebody who has to prove that they have the fastest car, the biggest ego, just like ego lifting and all that stuff. Get it, I guess. But you know, it's, it is messed up. 
ultimately at the end of the day it is what it is and we just have to keep moving on and creating content coming out to these events and stuff crazy stuff always happens just got to be alert oh that's a goofy looking wide body but it works it's like but anyway coming down here kind of smells like ramen or miso soup or something like that it's cool clean little g35 clean body for it usually these things are more banged up that one's pretty clean ha, you know it's funny I actually got a little clip of these guys rolling by and they both scrapes now this is something crazy to see because it's a Nissan Maxima so this one's wrapped in Millennium Jade pretty cool pretty cool full-on VIP style interior not too bad he could use some glass cleaner for sure it's a little foggy inside no smoky smoke. Rear bumper is gone. But this Maxima is pretty sick. Rafa Rare or something like that. It's not bad. Some big old chrome wheels on this thing. 3.5 underscore Rafa. It says username. Pretty sick. Ain't gonna lie, I like the Maxima as such. They're really nice. They're big old boats and everything. So, that's another R8 just randomly leaving right now. Hmm. This guy's got BMW wheels on the Honda. What? Get out of here. It's crazy to think though, but these Honda Accords, the V6s, they used to go for a lot of money back in the day. Of course, until they came out with the new Honda Accords. Crazy swap. Newport Drip. That's where that red Lamborghini is from. 120 in gas that Crispy spends to go to different car meets and car shows. Ain't worth it. Bikes are gone! No, I'm kidding, they're over here. <laughs> so, talking about bikes, figured out that the bikers, the two bikers basically collided, shook hands, called it a day. And then, what the? Every time I'm doing a little vlog for you guys, there's always something small and cute. And no, we're not talking about, we're talking about these things. Huh. Pretty cool, a couple little Hondas. Um, but yeah, so basically that happened. Little baby purrs. He's not gonna do it. That's the first. So low. Maybe. Lift it all the way up. There you go. There you go. This thing has seen many different wrap colors too, but... These wheels are pretty sick on this one. I like the gold color touch to it. It's not too bad. Are these on bags too? Okay. Bags how like high you can lift it from factory. That's gonna be it. Nothing really else happened. Just had some pull-offs. Um, you guys seen right now. Then there was a group of people that came by. I guess because I was sitting on the curb, they kind of just checked on me. Pretty cool. Um, and again, they're probably higher than a kite. But coolers can uh, conserve people over here. Got a milkshake. It's only three dollars. It's gonna be my dinner for the night. And uh, that's the end of the video. So as always, guys, stay safe. Stay chill.